And down inside the New York blue line. Boy, he isn't moving either. We're watching the fight right now, but from where we're, wow, look at that helmet go flying. Wonder if it was Jackson that downed Shabon and Virgil been taking exception to it. That would be a pretty good summation. That would certainly be my guess also. Savard is still flat on the ice. Well, there's no question that it was away from the play. Skip Thayer, the longtime Chicago Blackhawks trainer out. We've not seen much movement from Dennis Savard. Make no mistake about this, Denny Savard and his durability either. He's a tough customer. Yeah, he might he's not be very big, but he's simple. durable. He is a tough little guy. He is not going to be down there long if he can get up. There's Daryl Sutter standing on the bench, one of the Sutter brothers of NHL fame. Gosh, even when he's not in uniform, he's such a valuable player as an inspiration. As most of the Sutter brothers are, he's on the bench with Bob Forford. Gosh, he hasn't, uh, Savard still hasn't moved very much. Mark Bergevin will get a two-minute penalty for instigation, starting the fight. Here's the play. Oh. Cross check right across the back, and I'm sure he's lying there with some kind of whiplash pain. Wouldn't you think that he snapped his neck or something? Or his back is yeah, hasn't either way. Just doesn't want to move, and you can see having I mean, a real struggle to move at all, and that would be the symptoms of Man. the back. When you get hit like that, and you can see what happened, it's just like getting rear-ended in your car. It's a definite whiplash effect, like getting tackled in football blindly from the back. That kind of play by Jeff Jackson on Savard with a cross check is a, about like a clip on a play. And in football, it's very dangerous. It can injure a player so easily. Sure. And unfortunately, here, the referee, Ron Fournier, did not see it, obviously. And you know what else is interesting, Ken, is that that play is not unusual. That's a very common cross check in hockey. I mean, it's a violent sport, and a lot of people get cross checked like that, end up lying flat on the faces, but very few end up injured like this. I'm, Hoping that it's not serious, and you know the Chicago Blackhawks are hoping it's not serious. Well, Bergevin gets two minutes for the instigation. He and Jackson both get five for fighting at 6.32. At Madison Square Garden, it is one to one. It's really not that much. I was watching them. Brown doesn't even have his, his both hands on his stick, so he's just pushing them, basically. No, he was getting held. His stick was held. That's what he kind of slugged him. That's what I had mentioned. But he called one on Duque, and that's basically, as, as I mentioned, just let's calm the whole game down a bit. Well, that... Patrick, well, you know how you could cure that little situation? Let him go. Well, you don't think Richie Preston isn't a strong guy? He's tiny, and he's one of the oldest players in the NHL, but he's strong. We've got Jeff Jackson too. Now look at the glass and the boards. I mean, they're just trying to destroy the end of the building. Gary Nyland and Ron Duque would like to go. Well, Nyland's not only had enough, I guess, of Peter uh, Fournier threatening game misconduct there. Nyland's had enough of this game. He's been on the ice for at least a couple of the Rangers goals, and he said, I'm going to try somebody right now. The frustration is mounting at number 22. Point behind third place, Washington. And four points behind the second place, New York Islanders. And we'll see Washington and the Islanders Tuesday night here on the NHL tonight. Down to eight seconds. New York built up a 4-1 lead after a period. And they go on to win it tonight, 5-3. To Our Roll 8 player of the game is James Patrick. Well, he played an outstanding game, Ken, even defensively. When you chip in two goals in a 5-3 to three victory, who else did we choose but James Patrick? We've mentioned him all night long as being a consistent player on this Rangers team all year. Tonight, he really showed both his offensive and his defensive abilities. He's our Roll 8 player of the game, no question. Rangers play a very strong game. They end up as it is taking out Savard early that really changes things for the Blackhawks New York out shoots Chicago 42-26 I'm looking forward to Tuesday night I am too that should be a great confrontation between those two teams and who knows the Rangers seem to be getting things together perhaps again the power play looks as if it's clicking they have to play the Flyers in the first round we never know do we 
We know we'll be at Long Island, Washington, and the Islanders Tuesday night. Tom Mees is next. For Bill Clement, this is Ken Wilson. Thanks for joining us. Final Rangers 5, Blackhawks 3.